God, I never come to Trader Joe's. It is so chaotic in here. It's not even busy right now. This isn't busy? Oh, the indignity. Okay, so I don't really get Trader Joe's. I've never really been to a Trader Joe's. I just see that there's long lines outside of Trader Joe's and everyone's trying to go to Trader Joe's and everyone talks about Trader Joe's like it's Studio 54. And I was like, you know, it just to me seems chaotic and I don't really understand what's happening on the inside. So I'm just gonna go look and see what the fuck is going on inside Trader Joe's. But why? I guess that's what this investigation is about. I guess I could see why there's a long line. Okay, now Trader Joe's is famous for making like their own shit, right? And then they sort of switch shit out. Is that what is that the terminology they use in the corporation? We we make shit and we switch shit out. Joe O's. Oh, it's Trader Joe. Okay, so this is supposed to be Cheerios. They just try and throw the word Joe into everything, and then they think that suddenly it's you know Honey O's. I could get behind Honey O's. Honey O's is just Joe O's with honey. Got it. Okay, cool. Corn flakes. Strawberry flake cereal. <laughs> Panda puff. I've seen this before because my friend Evan Williams, if you guys know Evan Williams, him and his then wife Felicia would go and get Trader Joe's stuff. Panda puffs organic. Peanut butter, I like peanut butter cereal, but all peanut butter cereal has the same problem where it just rips open your mouth. Like afterwards it feels like, what are those like machines that like, oh the disposal. Like whatever the food goes into in the sink and you put the disposal on is the same ingredient they use for those. I think Dane Cook had a joke about that, didn't he? Way back in the day? I don't know. Oh my god. So am I missing something? Like what is it about Trader Joe's that's so special? What am I missing? What is the thing with Trader Joe's that gets everyone so wet? Everything. <laughs> but it doesn't seem like a, like a necessarily fun experience. I know everyone's dressed like they just came back from a Hawaii vacation in 1986. Cold brew coffee concentrate. How? At what point are we just doing crap? At what point do we just wake up and we're doing crystal meth to wake up? I mean, how much stronger do we have to get? Cold brew coffee concentrate. I can tell that we don't have the Trader Joe's etiquette because people are looking at us like we're fucking morons right now. I didn't realize that Trader Joe's had the same etiquette as Six Flags. Oh, an open bag of pasta. <laughs> Here's my thing is I love, first of all, it's an open bag of pasta. This is something that you have to prep. You can't just take it and steal it. Secondly, I love seeing abandoned items. Like someone's like, we need pasta. I need linguine. And then they got to the tea and coffee section. They're like, you know what? Just fuck it. And they abandon it. It's like the closest thing to the Oregon Trail. I think it's a little fucked up that your dog treats look like a cat. I know that this is better laundry detergent, but I just, it comes in like a clear bottle like that. It just feels not good. Oh, work, we get pasta. Okay, let's see. Um, I literally can't tell if we're grocery shopping or I'm prepping for an anxiety attack. I mean, I guess we're doing pretty good. Organic Brazili Corti Bucati Basta. Okay, I wanna go see their frozen, their frozen pasta. <gasps> we can get Cacho e Pepe. What are the ingredients? The ingredients are warm Jerome weed stuff. Okay, Pecorino Romano cheese, milk, Wheat flour, cream, butter, ground black pepper, salt. Well, I'm not expecting a frozen thing of pasta to be cacio e pepe, but I feel like it's dicey to have spaghetti as your cacio e pepe. Do you know what I mean? Like a frozen food would be better with like a, I don't know, gnocchi, rigatoni. What else do we have? We have eggplant parmesan sfogliatelle. Sfogliatelle? What? Eggplant parmesan sfogliatelle? What? <laughs> Why? There's a sweet thing. Like everyone else in America, I was so upset when Kevin McAllister didn't get to finish his macaroni and cheese. It really bothered me. The mac and cheese always looks so good, but then what is it about that they just can't get it right? It always tastes like sandy. Like you get this kind of macaroni and cheese and then you make it and you eat it and you're like, it tastes like sand. Like it has a grainy texture to it. Am I making that up, right? No? Oh my God, five cheese Greek spiral. Stavros, is this authentic? French onion soup, beef's shepherd's pie. Okay, honestly, in the photo it doesn't look that bad. So is this like for a whole family? That's what I want to know, like, or is this for like the individual New Yorker? You know what I mean? What is this? I guess the, I mean, it doesn't look that bad. You know what I mean? I guess we're not going for authenticity here. There's mandarin orange chicken, green dragon hot sauce. Bring dragons into this. You know what still holds up are Eggo waffles. Eggo fucking waffles toasted still fucking holds up. Butter and syrup, I don't give a shit. It's great. What the fuck is this? Corn ribs? What? <laughs> Since when do ribs have corn? <laughs> Oh wait, since when do corn have ribs? <laughs> what? This is what it used to say on my grinder profile. <gasps> I do love mochis. Those are really good. Okay, here's my question. The lines are always so long. The food's fine, but so what's the thing? Like, is it cheaper? Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Some things. Like what? 
so stressed out. I feel like the people that are buying this are like the mother in Sixth Sense. You know what I mean? Remember her, the mother in Sixth Sense? She was like, did you take the bubble bee pendant? I promise mama's not gonna get mad. And then he was like, no, go. Um, I guess for a grocery store, it was fun. Um, it was chaotic and it just seemed like even like your Nana would like push you out of the way for some frozen Catre Pepe. But I could see, like I could get behind it. I mean, I don't, I'm not like, I don't understand the lines around it. I'm not really sure what that's about. It seems like they have specialty items. They give it to you for a little bit, then they take them away and then they come back. So it really feels like I see an employee right now smoking with a, <laughs> with a Hawaii shirt on. I don't know that it's the best place to be. You know, usually people have like a love hate relationship with things. I have an absolute hate relationship with the container store. I worked at the container store. I was 19 and I was going to school full time working at the container store. Everyone on the staff hated me, including this terrible manager, her name was Linda, and she would eat candy out of a cereal box. And then this other manager, her name was Chris, and she had the worst highlights ever, and they were so brutal to me. And the thing that they are at the container stores, they're very passive aggressive. So instead of correcting you in the moment you're doing something wrong, they wait six months and tell you then, and then like, there's, oh, oh, okay. They're so cult-like. So one time we had like a, a meeting, right? And of course I was late. So I get there and we sit down, all the employees sit down on chairs, staring at a giant blown up photo of the president of the container store. It's not a video, it's just a picture. And then they played the audio of him being like, I really care about my employee. I'm like, what the fuck cult bullshit is this? I felt like that Simpsons episode where like Homer's like, and this bean looks like the leader. There's no face in those beans. So then one time I worked at the um, register a lot. You would have to open the bags, but the bags were so big. You would have to go like this to open them. And if you put your hand through it, they were serrated like this. You'd always like cut your hand, but you would open like this. Here's how much they didn't like me is that I open it like this and it would make a noise and the manager came up to me and she was like Mateo you're making way too much noise with those bags and you're gonna scare the customers away I was like they're not frail deer <laughs> I can hear a bag open like run I get let's walk through the container store let's see what the fuck's up oh this place you know the problem is I'm gonna love everything I'm gonna fucking want everything oh god it just brings back so many hope Okay. And I remember they had these phones on like the like these pillars, you know? And so I would just run and call my friend on ace. Look, in their defense, I was a terrible employee. I get it, you know? But then I would want every single one of these hangers. Oh, they also taught us the container store. Never ask somebody if they need anything or if they want help. You have to walk up and make conversation with them. So no matter what they were looking at, I had, the 19-year-old gave me had to be like, love that. Like, no. And all the mini baggies would always go missing. Drug dealers. This whole wall. I just remember hours of me standing there wanting to die. What? Whose towel is so thin? Although now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I do need stuff for my towels. That's the thing with this the container store is you walk around. It's another store. Of, I don't really need any of this, but sure, yeah, I want it. This, is, this seems great. Remember they bring in special holiday wrappers during the season. The only thing I did like about it is that they played Christmas music all day, so I, I did like that. The only person I got along with at the container store was this Italian woman. God, I forgot her name. She was from Italy, and so her and I would always gossip in Italian. She was the only one who was nice to me. Literally every single person hated me. And I remember I wasn't like fully out. I was 9, 18, 19, even though I looked gay as a picnic basket, but it was still that energy of like, like straight guys would make jokes. And the only jokes that the straight guys could make at the time was like Borat jokes, because that was the movie that was popular. <laughs> so I would always have to stand there and pretend to laugh at like, oh my God. God. This is uh, extreme. Oh God, we're containing everything. Clothes. The only thing they didn't contain was a fucking pandemic. Where were they during the pandemic? It says shelving and then it just says trash and you see a thousand of me. But they were very well known for alpha shelving and alpha shelving, which is like, they help you like design and like put shelving together. But anyways, this one time this wo <laughs> woman came in and she was like, yeah, I'm really looking for something to help like organize my closet. So one of the employees gets on and they're doing like the alpha shelving, which also I got in trouble for never training in alpha, whatever, I got fired. So she puts it all together. Of course, it's like $600. <laughs> and the woman looks at the employee and goes, I don't know how you live, but I cannot afford $600 for a few shirts. <laughs> Like, I love this woman. I call, I was like, we're going to brunch. Ugh, I just remember like eating by myself in the lunchroom. Oh, ugh, I hated it. And then when I was fired, I remember they like brought me in a meeting. They're like, well, you did this, this, and this. And don't you think that? And then of course I was such a fucking piece of shit. I was like, well, don't you think it'd be better to tell me in the moment that I'm doing something wrong so I can self-correct? Why are you waiting six months? Because if I'm not going to learn from you, who's supposed to be my manager, then I'm going to continue the behavior that you don't like. And they just stared at me and I was like, I'm getting fired. <laughs> So I became a comedian. I do not like authority. Do you remember when we were kids and they had these like rolly things and we'd roll around on the floor? Do you think they still do that? No, so. Oh, that when I came in the gym, we'd walk in and we see these on the ground. Ah, oh, it was, those were some of the best memories ever when I was a kid.
Oh, this is for the bathroom. Okay, so I do have stuff like this for me and Rodrigo. <laughs> See, now I'm here, I'm like, maybe I can get something for the mail. Like, when I get the mail, where should I put the mail? You're in hotels, I always put your luggage on one of these because you won't get bed bugs. Put your luggage and keep all your clothes on that. When I was in Paris, I was like, bed bugs. I did that, no problem. Well, that was down memory lane of the container store, which, you know, now as I'm an adult, I realize I was a bad employee. I was just not a good employee. I didn't want to do anything. I was lazy. I spent most of the time talking to my friend Anais on the phone and wanted to go out to the city and get drunk. So, Chris, Linda, you were right. Doesn't everything turn into Old Navy? You know what I mean? Old Navy is like sort of like the joke. Everyone's like, Old Navy. He's wearing Old Navy shirts, Old Navy clothes. And then I'm like, Abercrombie was so cool when I was a kid, and now it's just Old Navy with worse cologne. Everything, everything turns into Old Navy.